Kia ora, I'm Glenn from Valleybike and these are instructions on how to install your Valleybike fixed gear adapter onto your kicker trainer. So at the time of making this video, these instructions are suitable for the Kicker 20, Kicker 18, the Kicker Core and the Kicker 17. If this video is also uh, attached to any Kicker models or fixed gear adapters from a future date, these instructions will also be suitable for them as well. So we're up to our third generation of the Kicker fixed gear adapter. Uh, the first generation is easily identifiable by it being aluminium. The second has a black anodized coating. And the third is also black anodized uh, but has laser engraving. The geometry of this one is a little bit different to suit our track bike specific through axle for the kicker. If you already have one of the first two versions of the adapter, it won't have the through axle. So we will be selling these through axle kits as an upgrade. The only difference is that it will require a washer uh, just to offset some of the spacing. Uh, and that will all be included in the kit. So you're gonna need a few simple tools for the conversion. Um, to begin with, you're gonna need a chain whip and a cassette removal tool, a 17 millimeter spanner and a 15 millimeter spanner for tightening wheel nuts. I also have here a cloth for wiping up any excess grease or grime and um, just a little bit of oil just to help with assembly. Alright, let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is to remove the quick release skewer and the axle ends from each side of the kicker trainer. So just using set removal tool and a chain whip. Unscrew that. Make sure to keep all this together. So now underneath the cassette um, we're going to remove the free hub body. To do that we need to take off this using a 17 millimeter spanner and usually they're not on there too tight. Slide off the free hub body and behind the free hub body there will be an aluminium washer. We need to remove this also and then actually put the whole cassette back onto the free hub using your cloth I like to just wipe grease off the assembly uh, it just makes things just a little bit cleaner and you can see what's going on this is a bit counterintuitive because now the next thing that we're going to do is just using a bit of oil uh, just put a small dab just on the shaft there. What this is going to do is help the adapter slide on and slide off when you need to get it off again. So now installing the adapter, we just slide this onto the shaft. And so what you've got to do here is just find one of the splines that fits nicely. There's tolerances within the, the poor spline. So you just got to just find one that's nice and snug. There we go. So the next thing that we're going to do is using uh, the nut that came with the adapter kit. Screw this onto the end. This only just needs to be finger tight. Cool, so now we've got the track bike through axle that we're going to slide in from the, the back side. And then the two axle nuts. One last thing that we've got to do is just thread on a uh, fixed gear sprocket. And today I'm using our 11 tooth sprocket. And now we're all ready to fit the bike. One thing to note before fitting the bike onto the trainer. When adapting a trainer intended for road bikes with a 130mm axle width, there are some compromises. Track bike dropouts often measure just over 120mm so that the rear wheel can slide up and down the dropout without binding. My Avanti measures 121.5mm in width. If you look at where the dropout sits in relation to the available space on the kicker, you'll notice the dropouts need to splay out to fit. Now not all of you will be comfortable with splaying your dropouts of your carbon frames and that's totally understandable. This is something we were conscious of in developing the axle assembly, therefore made sure we went through an in-depth level of testing. Over the last 12 months leading up to the product release, we have never had any troubles from the multiple frame sets and testers located around the world. Once you have your bike on the trainer, I've used a pair of calipers to make sure the bike is straight. You can eyeball it, but with horizontal dropouts it can be a bit difficult to get it bang on. 